Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel, Tutorial by Sir Raiman. My name is Mr. Jem Raimon Ischen, Master Teacher 2 from Escalante Central Elementary School. Click like and share if this video tutorial helps you. Don't forget to click subscribe below to keep updated for my future tutorial. For your suggestions, especially on the topic for my next tutorial, please leave your comment below. Hope you learned something in my video lessons for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Stay home and stay safe. Hello everyone! How are you today? I am your teacher, Jem Raimon, and today we are going to discuss another lesson in your Mathematics 6, Quarter 2. And welcome to our Mathematics class! And our lesson for this time is to give the value of numbers expressed in exponential notation. As we discussed last time, exponential notation refers to the shorthand way of writing repeated multiplication. For example, instead of writing 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, which is somewhat long, we can express this to exponential notation. Okay? Paulit-ulit naman kasi minomultiply yung number 3, why not paikliin natin ito? So, we can express this to this one. And the number expressed in exponential notation is composed of the base and the exponent. Ano nga ulit ang ating base dito? Okay, very good. Our 3 here is called the base. And what is base? Base is the number used as repeated factor. Ito yung number class na paulit-ulit na minomultiply. And in this case, as you see here, yung number 3 ang ating minomultiply 4 times. Saan naman ditong tinatawag natin na exponent? Yes, very good. Yung exponent naman ay yung number 4. And what do we mean by exponent? Yes, very good. Exponent tells the number of times you are going to multiply the base or is used as factor. So yung exponent class ang nagsasabi kung ilang beses dapat i-multiply yung ating base. And in this case, 3. Ang 3 multiply siya into 4 times. And how do we read this number again? Written in exponential form? Very good. We read this as 3 raised to 4. Some more? Yes, pwede din. 3 to the 4th power. Or 3 to the power of 4. Very good. And this could also be read as 3 to the exponent 4. And what do we mean by 3 to the exponent 4? Very good. Ang 3 natin dito, minultiply siya ng apat na beses. The 3 is used as factor and multiplied 4 times. So, we could also say that this means as 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Now, if you are to ask, how do we get the value of 3 to the 4th power? Yes, very easy. Of course, we will multiply each number. Okay, for example, let's multiply first 3 times 3. Yung dalawang 3 na muna ang ating multiply, And 3 times 3 will give you how much? Very good. It's 9. Next, what will we do? Yes, very good. We will multiply the product we get, which is 9, to the next factor, which is 3. This one. So, that means 9 times 3. Now, how much is 9 times 3? Very good. The answer is 27. Next, what are we going to do? Very good. The second product we get, which is 27, will be multiplied again to the last factor, which is 3. Na? Itong 3 na to, i-multiply natin sa 27. So, 27 times 3 is how much? Kung i-multiply natin yung 27 sa 3, ano yung resulta? Very good! The answer is 81. Correct! So, meaning, the value of 3 to the 4th power or 3 to the exponent 4 is... 81. And that's how we get the value of the exponential 
notation. Did you get it, class? Good job! Okay, let's have another example. The exponential form is this one. And how do we read this? Yes, we read this as 6 cubed. So what does this mean? Very good. The 6 is used as factor and is multiplied 3 times, right? So meaning, we can say that 6 times 6 times 6 is still equal to 6 cubed, right? Now, if you want to get the value of 6 cubed, how do we do that? Again, we will multiply each number. Okay? So let's start with the first two 6 here. 6 times 6 is how much? Very good. 36. And what's next? Yes, we will multiply the first product we get sa natitirang 6 dito. So that means 36 times 6 is how much? Very good. The answer is 216. So meaning, our value here for 6 cubed is 216. Okay? So, napakadali lang talaga, class, no? sa pagkuha ng value ng ating exponential form. Now, what if you are given like this one? 5 times 5. Can we make an exponential notation out of this expression? Yes, very good. Pwede natin itong express exponential form. And how do we do that? Yes, very good. Our 5 here will be our base, right? And since the base is multiplied 2 times, then we will write exponent 2 here. And how do we read this? Very good. That's 5 squared, right? So yung 5 squared na to ay equal din sa 5 times 5. Okay? Ito yung shortcut way class in writing this one. Ha? Kapag meron kang nakitang mga repeated multiplication, no? isang number pa ulit-ulit na multiply, then you can express that into exponential form para mapaikli ito. Pareho lang naman ang ibig sabihin nilang dalawa. Okay? So now, what is the value of 5 squared here? Yes, very good. Simply multiply 5 times 5. And the product will give you 25. And 25 here is our value. Okay? I hope you now know how to get the value of exponential notation. Okay, let's perform this activity. Direction. Below are numbers expressed in exponential notation. Complete the table by writing the base, the exponent, its meaning, and value. Let's have number 1. How do you read it again? Yes, very good. That is read as 2 to the exponent 5 or 2 to the 5th power. What is our base here? Very good. Our base here is 2. And what is our exponent? Very good. 5 is our exponent. And what is the meaning of 2 to the exponent 5 or 2 raised to 5? Yes, very good. We will multiply 2 5 times. So meaning 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. That's the meaning of 2 to the exponent 5. And how do we get the value? Very good. We will multiply 2 5 times. 2 times 2, 4. 4 times 2, 8. 8 times 2, 16. 16 times 2, 32. So meaning, our answer here is 32. Did you get it? Very good. Number 2. How do you read this? Very good. That's 3 to the 4th power or 3 to the exponent 4. What is our base? Good. 3 is our base. How about exponent? Good. 4 is our exponent. And the meaning of 3 to the exponent 4 or 3 raised to 4 is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And what is our value? How do we get our value again? Yes, we will multiply 3 4 times. 3 times 3 9. 9 times 3, 27. And 27 times 3, very good, that's 81.
Next, we have here number 3. And how do we read this? Yes, that's 10 cubed. And what is our base? Very good, 10. And what is our exponent here? Very good, that's 3. Now, what have you observed in our figure here, class? Yes, our base here is enclosed inside the parentheses. Now, it is advisable, class, na gumamit ka ng parentheses kapag two or more digits na ang base natin. Kasi, kapag hindi ka gumamit, class, ng parentheses, technically, yung 3 dito, nagre-refer lang na exponent ng 0. Hindi kasama yung 1. So, kung gusto mo, yung 10 talaga ang ating i-multiply 3 times, then you enclose that first inside the parentheses, then write the exponent outside. Okay? Of course, in the upper right part of your number. Now, what is the meaning of 10 cubed? Yes, that's 10 times 10 times 10. And what is our value here? Yes, 10 times 10 is 100. And then 100 times 10? Yes, that's 1,000. Okay? Let's proceed to part B. Below our numbers in repeated multiplication. Express each in exponential notation and give the value of each item. Now, let's have number 4. We have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And how do we write this in exponential notation? Yes, of course, our base here is 2 and our exponent here is 6 because 2 is multiplied 6 times. Okay, let us solve for the value of 2 to the exponent 6. Or pwede rin itong basahin na 2 to the 6th power. Okay, so una muna natin itong i-multiply class. 2 times 2, how much is this? Yes, that's 4. So yung 4 natin nakuha, i-multiply natin dito sa, sa 2 na to. So, 4 times 2 becomes 8. Very good. Yung 8 naman, i-multiply natin sa sunod na 2. 8 times 2 becomes 16. 16 times 2 becomes 32. And this 32 will be multiplied to the last factor 2, which is 64. So, meaning the value of 2 to the 6th power is 64. Did you get it? Good. Next, let's proceed to 7 times 7 times 7 times 7. Item number 5. So, what is our base here? Very good. Our base is 7 because 7 is the factor repeatedly multiplied or it is multiplied 4 times. So, meaning our exponent here is 4. So, let's get the value of 7 to the 4th power. 7 times 7, how much? Very good. That's 49. 49 times 7. Good. The answer is 343. Next, 343 times 7. How much? Good. The answer is 2,401. So meaning the value of 7 to the 4th power is 2,401. Okay? I hope you could now answer and find the value of our given exponential notation. Okay, hanggang dito na muna ang ating discussion class. See you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Keep safe everyone!